time, baby. Jay Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people's champ. Oh, to do another reaction. Last night, oh, they put the oven on 500. Oh, and they put Cody Rhodes and CM Punk at the helm. And those two brothers were cooking. I lick J-Rock hands come back to you too. What is happening in in and in with the mill guns? And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby, J-Rock is here. Man, we're about to check out this Woo, this promo, this, 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 this might be the, this, this might be the promo of the year right here. And the year just started. I don't know if there's any other promo that we gonna see for the rest of 2024 that's going to be what we saw last night. And how AEW have both of these brothers on their roster, considering the type of vulgarity and uh, language that was allowed in AEW on TNT, and how these two didn't have a promo, I won't ever understand. Won't ever understand. They just go to show you, you can have some promos without the vulgarity, brother, without the cussing and the swearing. You can have a good promo, all right? And they proved it last night. So, y'all know the deal. WWE be on that bull, all right? So I can't show the video. We just have to listen to the audio, all right? And... Drop y'all comments and let me know below who y'all think won. Who y'all think won this verbal jousting between CM Punk and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Before, make sure you lay L smack it down on that subscribe button. All right, if you're enjoying the content, hit that thumbs up button, letting the YouTube algorithm know that J-Rock is here. Also, you want to send any donations, gifts, all right? Super thanks would greatly be appreciated. But. We're not going to waste some more time, baby. Show time. Oh, boy. Here we go. Woo-hoo. He goes last night. I was gonna say before we start, let's take a minute to enjoy this moment. You and I have been on very different paths to get here. Saturday night, it all changes. Sunday morning, I hope we're still friends, but for right now, let's just enjoy this moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Nola. More specifically, CM Punk. What do you want to talk about? In my opinion, this is just my opinion, this segment should have been the, the last thing heading into the Rumble. This, they should have went off the air with this. I want to talk about your dad. No, oh boy. Okay. And I don't know if you know this story. I've never told it. I know they don't know it. 2007. Your father calls me on the telephone and he tells me he's sending his youngest son, Cody, to Ohio Valley Wrestling to start his journey as a professional wrestler. And he tells me, I want you to keep an eye on my kid. And at the time, I don't know if I was the guy for the job and I certainly didn't know you yet 
I wasn't aware if you would need a guardian angel. I didn't think you did. But when the American dream asks you for a favor, New Orleans, you say yes. The American dream does the road. It wasn't a hard job. I stayed out of your way. You didn't get into any trouble that you couldn't talk your own way out of. You didn't fall into the same vices I saw a lot of our contemporaries do. And I watched you grow from a preliminary wrestler into this bona fide main event championship caliber superstar that stands before me today. And it might sound a little bit condescending coming from me, but you know me. I am proud of you. I bring this up, I bring this story up, I bring your father up, because on Saturday, I feel like I'm breaking a promise. Mm. In the Royal Saturday Rumble, when the up. bell rings, if me and you cross paths, I'm not gonna be looking out for you, I'm going to be looking for you. Mm. I'm going to do what I have to do. I'll punch you in the face. I'll throw you over the top rope because CM Punk is going to win the Royal Rumble and he is going to go on to main event WrestleMania. You're not alone in that feeling of you being someone who is talking to me, but thinking about him. I work with countless legends and luminaries and dignitaries in our industry. Freebird, Michael Hayes, Bruce Pritchard, Triple H, even Mr. Heyman. That when they see me, they can't help but see the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Not the American. It's the a American. very large shadow. But I think you know well that I have done everything in my power since I left here to not just be in the shadow, but to be the light in the shadow, to subvert expectations on my own last name and be my own man. You're talking about OVW. You're not lying. I showed up to OVW folk style wrestling experience only no matches under my belt a complete nepotism hire and there you were cm punk who had toiled on the independent scene for 10 years who had made a name for himself you could have treated me poorly and you did not you treated me like a peer and after that we became friends and that's what makes all of this so bittersweet is because in the Royal Rumble, there are no friends. What about Sunday morning, Cody? I know there's no friends in the Royal Rumble. I've been in more than you have. But what about Sunday morning? Because I can separate business from personal. Can you? Because I wasn't born into this business. You very much were. You grew up in this business. Personal to you is this business. You were the son of one of the most legendary professional wrestlers of all time. One of the greatest. The American dream, Dusty Rhodes. And I said to start this all off, you and I have traveled very different paths. I didn't have a famous dad. When you showed up to OVW, other people saw Dusty. I saw Cody. I didn't see necessarily a nepotism hire because where everybody saw that you were born on third base and you were afforded all these great things and you had the head start that I didn't get because I had to scratch and claw and fight my way to get to where I was, I saw the burden of your last name. I saw how hard it was gonna be to come out of that shadow and congratulations, you have done it with flying colors. But for all our differences, you in a very nice expensive suit, me and what I wore to the gym today. Hmm. Two very different paths, one very, very similar goal. 
I didn't have the famous dad. I didn't have the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, son of a plumber. Global international heavyweight champion, superstar wrestler recognized on the streets. Dined with kings and queens. How's the rest of it go? Slipping alleys and dying on pork and beans. Slipping alleys and uh, dying on pork and beans. I didn't have the famous dad. My father was blue collar. My father was just a regular guy. He was an electrician, which makes it kind of ironic. I'm more of the American dream than you are. Okay. Okay, American Dream. Here's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the pipe bomb. Boom. <laughs> what they say, NBA Jam? He's heating up. You set right up there. You said a few words. You rattled off the formula for a revolution. You inspired countless. There are wrestlers who have gotten in this today because of said interview. Count me one of those who was inspired. But then, you left. And when you left, you really left. You didn't pass the torch off, you dropped it on the way out. And I don't think you cared who picked it up, but I think you know who did. I did. Everything, everything that you spoke about, I literally did. So where you talked, I walked. And what is actually ironic, that makes me more CM Punk than you. <laughs> Louise, Louise, they pop. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, he said it. Joe did. He said it. It's getting a little hot in here. You're more CM Punk than I am? Well, allow me to give you the full Road to WrestleMania CM Punk experience. See, Cody Rhodes, you have carried this company on your back for a soul-crushing two years. And you're right around the corner, and they hand you the cover of the WWE 2K video game. Congratulations, by the way. It's on sale pretty soon, I'm sure. And right oh, yeah. when you're about to cross the finish line and finish your story. Oh, wait. What's that in the distance? It's a much bigger superstar that hasn't been around in a very long time coming to take it all away from you. Mm. Yeah. And I'm talking about me. There you are, looking out for me again. You might be right. You talked all about the American dream, well then you should know this, he was my best friend and he regularly quoted John Wayne. And the quote I heard the most is courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyways. You may be right, but I have only one direction I can go, I have to go, and that's forward. And that's in the Royal Rumble. That direction goes through you. Rock says this. Hey, look here. Uh -uh. 
the last four men in the world rumble in my humble opinion will be cm punk cody rhodes gunta and brock lesnar yeah he's coming back at the rumble i can feel it i can feel it in my bones i don't think rock is going to be in the rumble some people think he's going to be in the rumble no no I don't think he's going to be in the run. But I think those four guys will be the last man standing. You might can maybe LA Knight. Oh, and I hate what they oh I hate what they did to LA Knight. Oh my god. Oh, they are killing this dude's momentum, man. They should have. They should have let L.A. Knight continue to cook and grow in the mid card. Let him become the U.S. champ. Or maybe even beat Gunter like that would have set him off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but they put him up against Roman and it was too soon. The same crap happened to Ryback. Ryback was undefeated. He was a monster. And they put him in that damn match against CM Punk, knowing he wasn't ready for that. Knowing he was going to lose. He can't lose now. Look, if you're going to put LA Knight in that situation, then you got to do the false finish. You got to do the fake finish to where both Roman Reigns' shoulders and LA Knight's shoulders well, on the camp, on, on the mat at the same time, the referee counts to three. People think LA Knight is one. And then the, 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 and you let that pop go wild. And people thinking, yes, he did it. He finally pinned Roman. Roman is, is over with. He is defeated. We got a new tribal chief. LA Knight is the man, all that. And then have the ring announced to say, ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And still, w, WE Universal have everybody were like, what? And then they just showed the replay. The same thing happened. All of my wrestling historians remember this. Back in the, I want to say 2004, 2005, when Shawn Michaels had come back from injury, he wrestled Triple H on a New Year's Eve edition or a New Year's edition of Raw. This was right when Stone Cold was coming back as the sheriff. All right. So I want to say it was at the end of 2003 because Stone Cold was the sheriff in 04. But he pinned Triple H. He hit it with the super kick, fell on top of him, but his shoulders were down. They counted to one, two, three. That pop was loud because they were in Texas. Shawn Michaels' home state when it happened. Everybody thought Shawn had did it. Shawn had done it. And Eric Bischoff counted to three. And then he showed the replay like, nope, your shoulders were down too. And you know the rules. In the event of a draw, the champion keeps the title. They should have did that with L.A. Knight. That's what they should have did for L.A. Knight. And they blew it. And now they are killing his momentum. He's not as hot as he was. I get it. Nobody stays hot forever. But they could have milked that thing so good. Let him become the U.S. champ since he's on SmackDown. Let him hold that title. Man, they had to do that crap. Instead, they put the damn title on Rey Mysterio. I ain't mad at that, okay? Rey is a legend, but come on, man. You can't do that. Oh, I just had, I don't know what, how I got to that. Anyway, back to, back to Punk and Cody. Brothers were cooking last night. Brothers were doing their thing last night. Um... And I just can't wait for Royal Rumble. It's going to be interesting to see. Will there be anybody from SmackDown in the ring? AJ Styles. Well, there. I don't know if they'll be in the Rumble because they're in the they're in the Fatal Four Way match. So I don't know if they'll make it to the Rumble. I don't know if that match is going to come on before or after the Rumble. Um. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they'll keep it. They'll keep. 
here, here's what I'm thinking, okay? Here's what I'm thinking. We all know Roman's going to win. Like, it's, it's a foregone conclusion, right? They want him to break Hulk Hogan's record. Roman wins, right? Ah! The hand of Roman Reigns is raised in victory. And he's in the ring, you know, gloating. I'm the man. You know, you got the bloodline with him. And he was holding up the ones, you know, all that. And then all of a sudden, you hear, if you smile, you can do what the rock is cooking. Oh, my God. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. It ain't even happened. The idea is making me go nuts. And he comes down to the ring. And he goes face to face with Roman Reigns. We all want it. Now, I'll say this. The, the, the Rock, uh, no, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, right? Um, J-Rock is a big fan of his. He's in his 50s now, all right? I think, and this is just my opinion, I could be wrong, but J-Rock believes that the build-up to the match will be better than the actual match itself because Rock ain't been in the ring in years. The last time he had a match, what was that? WrestleMania 30-something, where he had that little six-second match against Eric Rowan. He ain't done, he's, he, and I don't even know if that's not considered a match because he hasn't, he didn't go full throttle. The last match he was actually in was WrestleMania 29 when he lost to John Cena um, in New York. But, bro, I don't know if the match is going to live up to expectation. I, I don't think the match will be as good as the buildup because Roman is going to have to carry a lot of it. Hell, he don't wrestle very often anymore himself, unless it's like on a house show or something. Um, but, yeah, I don't think the match will be as good as the build up to it. Um, because you're trying, you're putting a guy that age in that spot, and he hasn't been in the ring. I mean, yeah, he The Rock is in great shape physically, but as far as wrestling, I know he had a knee replacement, certain knee surgery or something. I don't know how well his body's gonna hold up like that, man, because you you're jumping right back in there in the main event at WrestleMania. I know he did that against John Cena at WrestleMania 28, but keep in mind. He did have that, that match in Survivor Series, and he was much younger than he is now. So, we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens, how they do this. Uh, it has to be one-on-one, -on -one, can't be a triple threat. Uh, Roman has to plant his flag as the tribal chief by beating The Rock at WrestleMania. Because, I mean, at this point, that's really the only match that makes sense. He, if they were gonna let Cody win, it was it, it should have been last year. Uh, CM Punk against the uh, Roman Reigns. I think CM Punk versus Seth Rollins is a bigger story, considering how he came back and you know their verbal jousting they've done. But man, all I know is this: the Royal Rumble is gonna be hype. It's going to be huge. I ain't never looked forward to a Royal Rumble like this in a long time. Real, real long time. And so, what surprises does WWE have in store? What surprise returns? Uh, I'd love to see Big E come back. Um, I don't I don't think he's ready. Um, that, that neck, man, that just... Uh, he was... Hmm, he was... He was riding high at the time, but... We got to wait and see what surprises they have in store for us. Now, here's what J-Rock needs from you guys. I need your comments. I need your thoughts. What you think about the promo? Who you thought won? Who you think is going to win the World Rumble, men and women? Will The Rock show up? Will they do that? How will that happen? Will they wait till SmackDown to do it? How is this going to all work out? Um, we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, but... Y'all know what to do. Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know which thoughts reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure 
you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned. Next video. Mamba. GG. And Wakanda. Forever. Here you smell. What J-Rock is cooking.